Hello and welcome to Bonnie Lake Ben Franklin. Today we will be demonstrating an easy fabric mask tutorial that you can make at home with the help of supplies from our store. As fall approaches, many changes may be on the horizon. Some individuals will be going back to work, some students may be going back to school or college, so now is a great time to make fabric masks to wear to keep yourself and others safe during these uncertain times. At our store, we have a large fabric department filled with 100% cotton fabric and a variety of patterns and designs, as well as a wide variety of tools and skilled employees who can help you with any project. For our mask, I have selected a fat quarter of cotton fabric. The CDC recommends at least two layers of 100% cotton fabric for facial masks. From this piece, I'll be able to make two to three masks. Then you have different options for attaching the masks, such as elastic, ribbon, and fabric ties. I will also be using a rotary cutter, fabric scissors, standard thread, pins and needles, and a self-healing mat, all of which can be found at our store. You will also need a sewing machine and an iron. If you're interested in the fabric department, you can find a book called Breathe Easy of Mask Tutorials, and this specific mask can be found on page six. You will first need to wash, dry, and iron your fabric so it's nice and flat and clean, and then you will cut it into two nine by seven inch rectangles, and your elastic will be cut into two seven inch pieces. I will be using a quarter inch white elastic, but we have a variety of options, including other colors and round sizes and different thicknesses. We're gonna start by laying our fabric pieces one on top of the other with the designs facing inward. And then we're gonna start stitching a border to connect them, starting just off center on one of the longer sides. I'm going about half an inch in from the edge. I'm gonna stop my machine when I get about an inch from the corner. I'm gonna lift up my foot, fold back the corner of the fabric, and add one end of one of the pieces of elastic. Make sure it's tucked right in the corner. It's okay if it sticks out a little bit because we'll be trimming the edges. We just wanna make sure that it gets attached. And put it all the way under. And you'll wanna go over it, double over it. So it's nice and secure. Then we're gonna start going down the short side. This one we're also gonna go half an inch in and you wanna make sure that your elastic is far enough away from the edge of your needle so that you don't sew it in place in the middle of it. Once again, we're gonna stop about an inch from the corner Fold back our fabric and add the other end of that same piece of elastic. Tuck it into the corner. Make sure it's not twisted if you can. Line up your corner and once again, double over it. Then we'll start going down the next long side. Again, stop an inch from the corner. Lift up your fabric, attach your next piece of elastic. Tucked into the corner. going down our next short side, again making sure that the elastic is not in the way. Stop it, lift up the corner and attach the last end of the elastic, making sure it's not twisted again. Then 
then we're gonna go back along the long side that we started on, but we're not gonna go all the way back to where we started. We're gonna leave about an inch opening so that we can reverse the mask. I'm doubling back on all my starting and stopping points so that my thread doesn't come undone. Then go ahead, cut my thread, and that's the beginning. Next, we're gonna trim the corners of our mask while it's still inside out, just so that we don't have any of this extra bulk. If you want, you can also go ahead and trim any strings or unaligned fabric, just so it's nice and neat. And I'm going in just enough so I get the corner, but I'm not cutting really any of the stitching. Then we're gonna find the little hole that we created and reverse the mask. And there, we have the start of our mask with the elastic attached. Now I'm going to iron it so it's nice and flat making sure that I'm tucking in the edge where our little one inch hole was so that it doesn't stick up any. I'm gonna tuck in the one inch hole. I'm gonna hit that first just so it doesn't stick out any. And then I'm just going over all the edges so that it's nice and flat. Make sure you don't get the elastic too much with the iron. Now we're gonna add the pleats to our mask. I'm gonna go roughly two inches down from the top. It's okay if it's a little bit more or a little bit less. I'm going to tuck my fingers underneath and then use my other fingers just to create a small fold. Once I have that, I'm gonna pin it on both sides, make sure it's fairly even. Then I'm going to do another pleat, maybe an inch or so down from there. It's okay if they're not perfectly even across, it's just important that you get the pleats in here so that it's a little bit smaller and fits on your face but can expand to cover your mouth and nose. Then if you need to, you can rearrange your pleats however you want. I'm pretty good with these, so I'm gonna iron them flat so they're easier to sew. My little iron that I'm using is a Mighty Steam Iron, which we sell at the store, and it's the perfect size for making masks or just for carrying around because it's nice and small but still gets very hot. I'm doing both sides so it's nice and flat. And then we're ready to sew. Now I'm gonna stitch a border around the entire mask and I'm gonna go around it twice so that it stays secure, especially as you're washing it and reusing it. And I'm gonna start with the hole at the top so we make sure that guy's closed. For this first one, I'm going in about an eighth of an inch. Stop when I get to the corner, turn, and then keep going. Once I have that first full stitch, I'm going to cut my thread. I can take out my pins now. And then I'm going to go an eighth of an inch in from that first stitch and do a second one. Now 
we have both our stitches around the outside, so I'm just gonna finish up by trimming off the extra strings. There we have a simple, easy fabric mask that you can wear with pride during these times of quarantine to help keep yourself and others safe, or you can donate them to loved ones or to nursing homes or any place else that needs extra masks. At our store, we have all the supplies you need to make fabric masks such as these, as well as so many other projects, and expert staff to help you along every step of the way. I myself am, be am a beginner sewer, so this fabric mask was a little bit of learning but actually pretty easy even for me. Maybe next time I'll try making a bag or an apron. If you're interested in more tutorials keep checking out our website. Thank you so much for watching and for your continued support. Have fun and stay safe in these uncertain times and come in and see us at Bonnie Life Ben Franklin.